need to turn down the temperature now in the morning already otherwise the the heating would kick in um, um, again haven't fully charged the car yet and um, there was no time and welcome back to another episode of Unplugged TV yet another episode of the <laughs> Outlander PHEV here in sunny hot Australia look at this beautiful weather Guys, I tell you, I woke up this morning and said, ah, it's 5.30, what a beautiful, what? The state of health has dropped yesterday. That wasn't a dream, that was true. And the madness came back to me. <laughs> and really it's still 39.9. <laughs> it is still 0.1 ampere hour down. Ah, what a beautiful day. Thank you guys for all your comments so far. I read through them this morning having breakfast and had a good giggle and laugh. <laughs> Said Andy, come on Andy, stay positive. Everything will be fine. At least it made you a YouTube millionaire. <laughs> oh yes, I wish, yes. <laughs> Uh, 29.3 kilowatt hours on the last kilometer in the car I guess uh, this is because the engine is still cold and we are just using more energy because it's cold I actually I'm uh, driving like an idiot and here we go on the highway Well guys, there should be no particular reason you have to charge the car to 100% every time. It doesn't say anything in the manual, of course, and I say this all the time. Um, we, know, we know the BMU is a little bit, you know, and it may need a full charge every time to work correctly. I don't know. But um, Dave, he has tried to not fully charge the car for several weeks, months now and has had uh, mild success with degradation so it um, so he could slow down the degradation process well when i say degradation i mean the crooked bmu so and of course with a good bmu with a good code and software it should not make a difference if you charge fully or if you only charge partly i know even tesla recommends to fully charge from time to time to tell the software what is the top what is going on here what is this guy doing jeez what is he waiting for there's an acceleration lane on the other side and he's blinking already and wants to merge onto the highway with about 25 kilometers per hour idiots yeah tesla brilliant software brilliant bmu it calibrates itself once you charge to 100 percent it knows what the top capacity is of the battery and learns from that and recalibrates just itself not possible in the in the outlander PHEV the BMU is not learning is not calibrating itself is not doing I've got the feeling the heating is on here yeah the PHEV is not the PHEV is BMU is not doing any of this so it should not matter if you fully charge or only partly charge 
but um, who knows. And uh, one question was because of the 105% it shows here. The 39.9 ampere hours showing in the, do in the dog. This is the state of health coming from the BMU over the CAN bus in the car. This is what the BMU knows about the capacity. The percentages are not coming from the car. The percentages are being calculated by the dog. And the dog uses 38 ampere hours as the 100% to calculate the state of health. And then it calculates the state of charge from these 40 ampere hours. So 40 ampere hours is 100% state of charge. So that's why the state of charge is showing correctly as 100%, but the state of health is showing 105%. And this is the only figure which is not um, correctly set in our cases now because we are having the fully 40 ampere hours capacity available. Uh, no big deal. He said he doesn't want to change it uh, for some particular reason. There was a discussion in, in Facebook. Um, I'm not. Uh, and yeah, some people stated that um, this um, drop in capacity now is maybe the beginning of the steep curve. Uh, what happens usually to lithium-ion batteries when they are new and you might be right this might be the first the first degradation we see and it may taper off after a while <laughs> that's what we all hope <laughs> that's what we all hope yeah but you you may be absolutely right it might be just a one-off and for the next six and a half million kilometers there's no further drop so time time will tell and um, of course I'm telling you right on the day if something happens with the BMU. And some others may say now uh, that's exactly what Andy deserves because he's got a 40 amp hour battery everything seemed to be fine and now that's the right thing happening to him now. So he comes down. Look I'm not I'm not bragging about what we have achieved here in Australia with the 40 amp hour set battery and the BMU resets and everything. I am I keep working with Mitsubishi Australia until all the cars are fixed. We need to find the, the real cure. If this is not the cure, we need to look further and make more tests and more. Yeah, there need to be more communication with Mitsubishi in Australia, of course, in regards to this stuff. So I'm not here to showing off my car and telling you, haha, I have got 40 amp hours, my car is fixed and you can do whatever you like. I don't care about you anymore. That's not the case. I care a lot about everyone. This needs to be fixed worldwide. This is not something only me happens. This happens to everyone. So I'll keep working with Mitsubishi. I keep fighting until this is all fixed. So there's no time for bragging. We just need to keep working. Okay guys, I'm just um, trying to find, this is the situation now. I have experienced the first drop of state of health after only 400 kilometers after battery replacement and triple procedure. But as some of you have stated correctly, the battery has been replaced, the battery has been replaced um, end of January. The procedures have been carried out end of March. So two months in between without any proper calibration of the BMU. So obviously, and I've driven two and a half thousand kilometers in this time, in these two months. So obviously the battery has already degraded a bit in this time. See, remember when I had the triple procedure being carried out on the car, and they did the DB cam, it showed only 39.9 ampere hours as the result of the DB cam. But the dog jumped over to 40 ampere hours and it yeah, continued to show 40 ampere hours. And a similar thing happened to the first two cars, what we know about is um, they showed over 41 ampere hours. One shot 41, I think Hunter's car shot 41 ampere hours. But the BMU always showed only 40 ampere hours after the triple procedure. 
So I was wondering, because my one shot only 39.9 ampere hours after the procedure and not 41 as the other cars, and we all got the same battery model, but my one has been driven for two and a half thousand kilometers and it may have already degraded and the DB cam picked this up and showed only the 39.9 ampere hours instead of 41. Um, so who knows? Maybe the battery, maybe the battery capacity has gone down by f by 1.1 ampere hour already. It it seems a lot to me. It seems a lot. And then the other question is, if if I have driven two and a half thousand kilometers already, and then they did the reset, the smoothing, and the DB cam on it, how does the BMU knows about these two and a half thousand kilometers? Yeah. It can't take them into account because you're you're right when you're saying two and a half thousand kilometers what I've traveled before the triple and then another four hundred kilometers until it dropped to a thirty nine point nine which makes two thousand nine hundred kilometers all in total traveled. But how does the BMU know about these two and a half thousand kilometers before the reset? Because remember, when we, when we do the reset, it resets all the information of the BMU. It can't remember anything, so it doesn't know. So this is a little bit unclear. Because we do the reset first, so we wipe the whole memory of the BMU, and then do the DB cam, which determines the state of health of the battery, which was 39.9 ampere hours when they did it. But the dog always showed, or the BMU always showed us 40 ampere hours, for some reason. And I don't know why this is. And this is the same with the other cars as well. They show, the DB cam showed 41 ampere hours, but the dog or the BMU showed only 40 ampere hours as maximum, as 100% capacity. So, there is still a lot of speculation happening in this field. Well, as I told you before, the next weeks and months will be interesting. If I don't have another drop in the next two months, which may be another two and a half thousand kilometers, that'll be fine. If it drops every 400 kilometers now, Mitsubishi is in deep sh I mean, they are in deep sh anyway. If it drops again in a relative short amount of time and kilometers traveled, well, I would probably say... Th so guys, yeah, um, yeah, I would like to thank um, um, Matt. Yeah, so um, uh, Greg Shaw said something like, Andy, have you considered that you had the triple procedure applied to a new battery which has several thousand miles on it and the BMU could not be uh, rebalanced to its true value? And this is exactly what I said. It might be the case that the DB cam al already shows a degradation of 1.1 ampere hours over the amount I've driven. So uh, yeah, that could be the case, Greg. Uh, thanks for your comment. Um, the same to Yui Yui Yi. Hi Andy, um, I somehow somehow remember that your battery is 39.9 in yellow card after triplet procedure. I was wondering a bit um, at the time, might that the reason for the battery returns to its true state of health now? And yeah, exactly the same reason as I explained before, it could be absolutely the case. So uh, thanks for your comment. Uh, and Newton Hislop said the same. Just a thought, Andy, you were on the, you were one of the earliest to get a new battery in January or February. You have thousands of kilometers since then on his battery. The triple procedure was only very recent. Your battery matches everyone else's. Yeah, and again, this is the same hint you gave me, um, Newton. I'm saying the the actual battery swap was a while back to the procedure. And Andre said the same. Did you drive more than 400 kilometers since the battery replacement? Why do you keep saying 400 kilometers only? <laughs> you should count from the battery replacement, not from the software reset. Again, that's the right answer probably. Yeah, Matt, Matt from uh, California said as well, Andy, how many kilometers since your battery was replaced? 
wouldn't that be the reference point you should be comparing against rather than 400 kilometers only? And that's potentially exactly what we are seeing right now. So um, again, uh, thanks for all your comments um, on this video and probably you are right with what you are saying. I should have counted from the day of the battery replacement and two months later the DB cam has made the BMU aware. This is a 39.9 ampere hour battery only because I've I've lost already one ampere hour during my driving which would be a lot but again it might be the steep ah, I'm repeating all this shit okay guys so far this um, little morning and lunch break video again thanks for watching thanks for your support this is Andy from Unplugged TV sunny hot Australia <laughs> really summer is back <laughs> signing off you stay charged and we will see us in the next video okay see you then bye bye thanks for all your comments